the number one thing you want to be teaching your son is how to think for himself. Okay? How to think for himself. How to separate himself from the collective, from that hive mentality, from that group think out there. You want to teach your son to trust his gut instincts and think for himself. Okay? To not follow the herd. To be a wolf and not to be a sheep. No matter how young your son is, you can start educating him. Especially if he's in school and he's, say, in elementary school. Right? Kids automatically love to mimic each other. They love to follow whatever's popular. Right? This is why pop music, for example, caters to younger kids. You know, kids in their very early teens, if not younger than that, trying to brainwash them into thinking that what this producer is producing is popular. So you want to teach your son to be able to see through all that bullshit, all of that indoctrination, all of that brainwashing, all of that marketing. Train him to see through that and really judge for himself if it's something that is worthy of being praised. And this is something that unfortunately we don't teach young boys enough of is being able to think for themselves. They are just literally following whatever their teachers and society are telling them. This is why our boys, our young boys, are growing up so feminized and so pussified because they are being raised by the blue pill matrix, by the feminine. Okay, if you look around, unfortunately, mo many kids these days, especially young boys, are being raised in fatherless homes by single mothers. They're going to school. They're being taught by more women, right? They're being surrounded by more women. And they don't really have any male role models, okay? They don't have, like, strong male role models to look up to. Not even on in movies anymore. Not even on television, right? All of these strong masculine characters like your Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Stallone, all these guys have been taken away from us. You know, we can't really rely on those guys anymore anyway because, you know, they're much older now. But we've had nobody who's replaced these guys. Okay, and I'm just talking about actors, for example. This is why they continue to make movies, right? Because they can, they can profit from it because Today's millennial generation has not produced any real masculine type men that we can look at on the big screen and be like, yeah, I want to be just like that guy. A lot of my followers will often send me links to like the new, for example, the new Avengers movie. Look, Em, look, Matt, there's no, there's no feminism in this. And I'm like, no, dude, there is. I guarantee there is. There is, you know, and there always is, by the way. And not only that, but many of these actors these days who play these masculine characters and these masculine heroes on the big screen, as soon as they're done wrapping that movie up, you will see them on your local PSA, your public service announcement, or on YouTube, basically cheerleading for the gynocracy. Or these guys will come out wearing a dress talking about women's rights and how women are still not fairly treated or not being fairly uh, equally paid and all this other nonsense. I've mentioned this before, but James Bond, Daniel Craig, right? Right after he did Casino Royale, where everybody was praising him for being super alpha in that movie. This guy turns around and does a PSA wearing a dress, wearing makeup, wearing women's clothing, promoting feminism, right? Daniel Craig. It's like, why are you doing this, dude? You know, millions of men out there look up to you after you did that role. Why are you doing this? Who is putting you up to this? So that is something that feminists love to do. They love to take a masculine character that millions of men admire and turn that character feminine, right? They love taking alpha males and turning them into beta males. It's part of the feminine imperative, by the way. Uh, a lot of women do this in relationships too. I would say most women. They would they will go out and actively seek out the most alpha guy that they can possibly attract. They'll enter a relationship with this guy who's completely alpha. And then once they get him, they will proceed to try and turn him beta. 
And once she is successful at turning this guy Beta, then she proceeds to resent him for allowing her to turn him Beta. You can never let women attempt to turn you Beta. You can never let the feminist machine out there try to turn you beta, try to emasculate you, try to shame you into being more feminine and less masculine. So these are all lessons you need to teach your sons. You need to teach your sons to be aware that there are hidden dangers out there, especially when it comes to movies and television, because at that age, most of his peers, most of his fellow students are going to be wearing like the superhero t-shirts and they're going to be talking about the latest movie in school and again unfortunately all of these movies are very dangerous for young boys because there is a shit ton of feminist propaganda in literally every freaking movie these days if they're not promoting feminism they're promoting uh, broken homes degeneracy single motherhood all things that young boys need to realize are bad. These are not good things for society. Uh, a lot of these movies too are trying to uh, confuse the sexes like, oh, little girls, you should be more like boys. And hey, little boys, you should act more like little girls, right? They're trying to confuse these kids at a very young age, okay? And for you guys who read the scriptures, what does it say in the scriptures? What does it say in the Bible? It says the author of confusion is guess who? The devil, Satan, Lucifer, right? He is the author of confusion. God does not want you to be confused. God has laid out very clearly what your role is if you are a little boy or a little girl, if you are a man or a woman. He has laid out very clearly what your role is. Okay, if you're a man, you are to be masculine. If you're a woman, you are to be feminine. Okay, nowhere in the scriptures does it say, hey, if you're a man, you should act more like a woman. You should be more feminine. Much less does it say anything about women needing to act more like men and take on men's roles and act more masculine. Okay, that's not in the scriptures. Only the devil wants you to be confused. Only the devil wants to promote confusion among the sexes. But these are all things that you need to teach your sons. You need to teach your sons to be able to spot propaganda to be able to be aware when he is being mentally manipulated by the social narrative, by mainstream media, by all of these Hollywood movies and TV shows that look innocent when they have the Disney logo on it, especially if it's got that Disney logo on it. Whenever I see that Disney logo now, I'm like, let me guess what this movie contains. Homosexuality, feminism, ideologies, enforcing emasculation. Whenever I see that Disney logo these days, I laugh my ass off. I don't trust shit that Disney produces. Nothing, right? You guys, you idiots who are like paying for all those Star Wars movies, I laugh my ass off. You know, some of you guys are like, hey, you see the last Star Wars movie? I'm like, no. They're like, didn't you watch The Force Awakens? That one's okay. And I'm like, uh, no, I don't watch that one either. All right, because basically they've put like female leads in there trying to act like men. I don't watch shit like that. I don't watch anything that's going to confuse the sexes. I'm a grown man. I still don't want to watch that. I don't want that crap downloaded into my brain to, to desensitize me to think that's acceptable when it's not. Okay? And the fact that you are letting your children watch these things and be influenced by the, this propaganda is a form of child abuse. Okay, I'm just going to be very clear about that. It's a form of child abuse. I get some guys hating on me because I say things like that. Like, oh, dude, you're being a little too extreme here, man. You're being too extreme. And it's like, no, dude, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Because that's how these people infiltrate your children's minds. Okay, it's no different than a drug dealer. Right, drug dealer? But like, hey, man, you want to try a little hit of this? You want to store a little bit of coke? It's free. Right? You want to freebase a little bit? Remember in the 80s, they had like freebasing? It was like, hey man, there's a little crack bottle right here. Here, I'm going to give you the first one for free. And then you see that crack dealer again. Okay, I'll give you this one. Just give me a buck. Okay. And then they'll give you the third uh, the third little bottle. All right, just give me five bucks for this. It's fine. It's worth 20, but uh, just give me five. All right, next thing you know, it's like, how much for this crack bottle? It's a thousand dollars, dude. It's like, wait, you only charged me five for the that last one. It's like, well, price just went up. And now you're addicted. Now you're going to buy that crack, right? And Disney and all these 
Hollywood movies these days are no different. They're just giving you a little bit of hit of crack to get you hooked, to desensitize you, to make you feel like this is okay, this is normal behavior when it's not, it's abnormal behavior. They wanna desensitize you, desensitize your kids, then next thing you know, they've got you. And then your kid grows up being like, yeah, dad, there's nothing wrong with two guys kissing each other. There's nothing wrong with women trying to act like men. There's nothing wrong with 11 year old boys wearing skirts and makeup, there's nothing wrong, dad. You're you're living in the 1950s, right? They'll always say shit like that. You're still living in the 50s. That was a great time, by the way. <laughs> right? There's nothing wrong with the 50s. But that's what they'll accuse you of. Oh, you gotta get with the times. You gotta get with the current date. You know, you gotta be progressive. Stop being one of those wacko, crazy right-wingers, right? Because you advocate for normality and are against degeneracy, you're all of a sudden a right-wing wacko. Do you see how far this bullshit has gone? So understand, when it comes to your own kids, especially your sons or your future sons or any young men that you have in your family, the number one alpha trait that you wanna teach them is being able to think for themselves and trust their gut when they see something that is repulsive, wrong, makes them feel uneasy, makes them feel a little queasy in their, in their stomach. Like, ugh, why is this okay? You know, because I'm watching it on the big screen here. As I teach you guys, <clears throat> when you're in a movie theater and you're sitting in that darkened, theater in those comfortable big ass chairs not too much different from the chair in my here in my Land Rover it's really comfortable you're sitting in that darkened theater in this catatonic state right being comfortable eating your popcorn and drinking your soda you are in the perfect position to be brainwashed you're in the perfect position to have thoughts ideas beliefs and values that are not yours downloaded into your brain to desensitize you. That's how Hollywood works. They, they show you images to start desensitizing you. Imagine some of the shit you see in movies today, not even movies, but television shows, okay? The television shows that are on, on prime time when kids are awake. Imagine taking some of these shows and showing it to families in the 50s or 60s. They would be flabbergasted. I mean, the government would be coming in and basically shutting these shows down because they're so degenerate. They're so offensive. Promoting single motherhood, characters doing drugs, teenage mothers. That's not something that uh, kids should be seeing at a young age. So, but you can't control this stuff because Hollywood's gonna keep putting it out. But you know what you can control? You can control what you allow your son to see. The best way to do that is by educating him and telling him he needs to think for himself, letting him know that part of uh, being a young man and growing up to be a strong man is learning how to think for himself and telling him that he cannot trust everything he sees out there just because it has a, a nice little Disney logo on it, especially if it has a Disney logo on it. You should warn him of all of these things now. Tell them like, be careful. There are people out there who do not have your best interests at heart. There are people out there that hate men. They do not want to see you grow up to be a strong masculine man. If anything, they want to take that away from you. They want to rob you of that. Regardless of all of the studies that point to, you know, young boys who grow up confused like that end up offing themselves, end up committing suicide. Okay, do you think the, the mainstream Blue Pill Matrix cares about young boys killing themselves once they become adults? No, they could care less. That's why it's your job as the authority figure, as that kid's dad, as his father, to teach him how to think for himself. You can save his life just by giving him that advice, telling him to trust his gut instinct, telling him that he can no longer trust adults in this day and age. He can't, because back when I was growing up, 70s, 80s, Maybe you're my age too. You know, back then, 
my dad would be like, yeah, you have to trust older people. You have to trust authority figures. You have to trust adults. We have your best interests at heart. And, you know, most of the adults I met back then were, were pretty good. You know, they tried to help me. These days, I, if I had my own son, uh, I would not pass along that advice. I would tell him the opposite, as you should. I would be like, son, even though people are adults, it doesn't mean to automatically trust them. It doesn't mean to automatically take their word verbatim. Even though somebody is an authority figure, might be a school teacher, I don't want you to always take their advice. I want you to vet them first. See what they're about. See what their ideologies are. Because maybe that school teacher has been indoctrinated with leftist thinking too, especially public school teachers. I would not trust them with my kid's brain. I'd be like, son, don't listen to half of what she says. Ask me first. If she spews out something that makes you feel uncomfortable, come home and tell me right away. Right? But then again, I would never put my kids in public school, especially these days. No way. Either they go to private school or I'm homeschooling. And back in the old days when I was a kid, homeschooling was for weird was for like weird kids, right? Weird kids, only weird kids did homeschooling. You know, and then those kids would become socially awkward because they were never around other kids, their peers. You know, I would want my son to experience the things that I did in school, like prom, sports, dances, school dances, meeting girls, first girlfriend, first kiss. I want him to experience those things, but I also want to protect him. And obviously you don't want to be a helicopter parent where you're just all over him 24 seven and suffocating him, but you do want to educate him and you want to let him know that, hey, you need to learn how to think for yourself because adults are not always gonna have your best interests at heart. These companies that you think are innocent because they have cartoons like Disney or whatever, they're not gonna always have your best interests at heart. Actually, most times they won't. Most times they're gonna try to harm you and your kid will be like, how, how could they harm me through the TV, dad? They can harm you through the TV, son, because they show you these images that they want you to make, make your brain think is okay but really what they're doing is desensitizing you to their agenda, to their propaganda, to their political affiliations. And I don't want that to happen to you. If you want to choose a certain political affiliation when you get, when you become old enough or you want to choose, you know, what you feel is acceptable, I want you to do it because you honestly feel that in your heart, not because you were brainwashed as a child and I wasn't watching out for you. So that is the number one most powerful alpha trait that you could possibly teach the young men in your own family, that you could possibly teach your own sons, is how to think for himself and how to hone that ability to think for himself, even in the face of peer pressure. Because especially going to school growing up, he's gonna get a lot of peer pressure from friends, from other students that he goes to school with that are gonna be like, you know, laughing at him, trying to tease him, might even try to bully him because he's not going along with the pack. Because kids have, you know, especially at that age, they have pack mentality. They don't like people who go against pack. But you have to tell your kid, you know what? That's what a strong young man does. He thinks for himself. And he gets others to submit to his frame versus the other way around. Because the only kids that submit to other people's frames are weak kids, okay? And generally they submit to other people's frames because they don't know any better. So you want to teach your son to hone his ability to think for himself, even in the face of all of this groupthink and all of this hive mentality and herd mentality that he's going to be dealing with in school. Teach him to not follow the herd not follow that collectivist ideology that wants to rob him of his individual unique talents, traits, characteristics, but instead to be independent, to trust what's in his heart, and to think for himself. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up tonight's coaching video. So until next time, this is M. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell up top so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video. More importantly, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's very important you guys subscribe. It tells YouTube you are digging my content, you are feeling it, and you want me to produce more of this red pill content. So definitely make sure you subscribe. 
It helps me out a ton, guys, so please subscribe. And for you guys who want to support my work and my content and all of this red pill knowledge I'm teaching guys here on my channel even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium alpha male content channel which i am hosting on a private platform away from youtube and the reason why i am doing that is because i no longer trust youtube to suddenly demonetize all my videos or suddenly deplatform me because they don't like any of this red pill knowledge that i am teaching you guys so if you want to support my work and my content and everything i'm teaching you guys here the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium alpha male secrets channel that I am hosting on a private platform. And the first month is only $1 for the entire first month of coaching lessons, it's just one buck. And all you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.